All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Call Hola Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. All right, with that being said, I don't want to write this out, Lord, as well. This will be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Raka Kwadash for the record. Today's date is uh, March uh, 22nd, uh, 2021, the year, of, the year of hastening, the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And um, this is going to be real quick. Shouldn't be too long. I just got a couple scriptures that I wanted to go into. Um, we brought out most of these scriptures um, at camp, at the last camp. We we're going into the woman and, you know, um, you know how these silly men are going to follow these uh, silly women to their destruction. OK, you know, because right now the woman is in her heaven, man. OK, this is Esau. Eden. This is Esau Edom's heaven, the so-called white man's heaven. But also Eve, this is the woman's heaven, going back to the garden, you know, and that 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 um, what the what the serpent uh, promised Eve, Eve, he promised her power, and the woman has been put in the power seat, you know. We brought out that um, that, that the Lord has created a new thing, a woman shall compass a man, you know, and it shouldn't, it's it should, it's not supposed to be that way, man. A woman is not supposed to usurp your authority authority over a man, you know. But anyway, we know we know what it is, and it, it all really stems back to the Queen of Heaven, you know, the Queen of Heaven worship, you know, and we know the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. Okay, these gods that we worship, these newly formed gods are are, are not really newly formed because they are old, man. You know, they're nothing more than uh, uh, Babylon the Great. America has done nothing more than uh, re revive the old uh, gods of old, man. The old pagan gods, man. All right, and the, and worshiping a woman is, is one of it, man. You know, so um, real quick, this this uh, uh news clip completely shows you the folly that's going on, man. Because these people are living high off the hog, man. They think they don't think they 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 don't understand what's about to happen to them, man. Okay, especially you women and these silly men. You two, th I'm talking about the two thirds, the elect. We're taking heed. We're watching. You know, we're repenting, we're doing what we got to do, but, but the two thirds, they're, they're drunk on this Babylon juice. They think America is going to be great again. They think things are going to go back to normal. They don't even care if it's going to go back to normal. They're going to keep partying and bullshitting, you know, as they see, see fit, man. They don't care if we're in the middle of a global pandemic, a global lockdown. They don't care if the men on the, uh, are out there on the highways and the byways crying, warning them to repent. They're just going to keep, hey, as in the days of Noah, man. You know, living it up, man. Okay, so I got a couple scriptures, but um, real quick, um, I mean, I got a video. I'm going to play the video, but real quick, we brought out the main script that I wanted to go into was Jeremiah chapter 44, because that's going to go into the queen of heaven, all right? No new thing under the sun, but we brought it out. Um, this is First First Timothy, right? Five, I believe that's First Timothy. First Timothy 5 and 6. Right, straight to the point. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And and you women are, are living in pleasure, man. You're living it up. Okay, and you silly men are are, are are following behind these women. Okay, and they're gonna lead you to your destruction. Okay. We brought it out. Uh this is uh first Ezra, uh chapter four, I believe. Yeah, four verse twenty six. Okay, first straight to the point. First Ezra chapter four verse twenty six. It says, Yea, many there be it says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Okay, a lot of men go out of their mind chasing the box, man. You know, go insane over these women, you know? You know? It says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Okay? Hey, the scriptures say, Why tremest thou way to seek love? You know? That applies to Esau, Edom, and, and following behind these other heathens, you know, trying to trying to fit in. But also the woman too, man. You know, you, you, you compromise on your morals and your standards, you know, just to please a woman, just to simp. Okay, you lie to a woman just to please her, to flatter her, you know, just so you can get the box, you know. 
you know? It says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. It says, Many also have perished, meaning died. Many men have died. Many men are imprisoned. And many more are going to die. Okay, because you're going to follow behind that woman and ultimately go down there and get that mark, the karagma. That's the whole point. Because you're following behind her now. You're, you're, you're going clubbing. You're partying. You're not social distancing. You're not using any kind of wisdom. You know? You know? So he says, many also have perished, have erred, okay, and sinned for the woman. Yeah, because you put the woman in the power seat. You, you put her on a pedestal. And the scriptures tell us that the, the Lord deprived the woman of wisdom, okay? You're, she's not the head. You're the head, okay? And the head of us is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, that's the order. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, and then the woman, okay? But, it, but you know, this world is topsy-turvy. A woman have come past the man, okay? And that's a new thing, you know? You see? Um... But I'll, I'll come back to the scriptures. But that's the point. We 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 brought most of those out at camp already. All right. So let's go. Let's play this video. It's off of NBC News from 13 hours ago. It reads, uh, "Spring." It's right here in Miami, right here in Florida, man. We always talk about it amongst the brothers here, man. Florida is gonna get a heavy judgment, man. You know, I I believe through the spirit, Florida is gonna get a heavy judgment. You know, there's many signs that 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 lead that's telling that's telling us that through the spirit, man. You know. A lot, a lot of wickedness took place in Florida. You know, Florida was the KKK capital, you know, of the United States of Rosewood. A lot of these old politicians, senators, old money, you know, a lot of old money, a lot of old Edomites are down here in Florida, man. The, they call them the snowbirds. A lot of wickedness took place in Florida, man, you know, and it's still taking place in Florida, you know, you know, what what else? Oh, when, when uh, Putin had uh, showed that his new uh, hypersonic missile. You know, he showed he showed on the map the missile had uh, was hitting Florida, man. You know, so I believe through the spirit. We believe through the spirit. Florida's gonna get a heavy judgment. A lot of people like to is because we're the furthest. Um, I guess you could say south, pretty much. On the, you know, we, you know, we're the closest to the to the Caribbean. You know, the closest escape you can say. You know, from reality, from La La Land. You know, they want to run away from the from the the lockdowns, Salaki. They want to run away from the lockdowns. So on and so forth, and they, they come right down here to Florida, man, to escape, you know. But you ain't going to be able to escape from Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh You ain't going to be able to escape from this judgment, man. And there's no cloak for your sins because you got the men of the Lord all throughout Florida, from Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, to, to damn near Miami all over, all right? So the word has gone out through Florida, and like I said, through the Spirit, I believe heavy judgment is going to befall this place, which we know it is anyway because heavy judgment is going to befall Babylon, which is America. Okay, but anyway, Salakia, it says spring breakers, rebel and crowd, Salakia, spring breakers, rebel and crowd, crowd streets, re, what is it, oh, I, get, I, I don't know, Salakia, spring breakers, rebel, 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 Salakia, rebel, Salakia, rebel, like being rebellious, bucking up against the orders, social distance, and they're not listening, Salakia, spring breakers, rebel and crowd streets, Amid new Miami beach restrictions, NBC Nightly, all right? Oh, yeah, because they're implementing a curfew, you know? Again, hey, that's, a, but Esau Edom wants this, man. That's why they're lifting the restrictions, man. Gradualism, order out of chaos, man, you know? Problem, reaction, salute. We keep saying, we're broken records, man. And you people are just fuel for the fire, feeding right into Esau Edom's hand. You know, a gift to store off the heart. He gave you that little stimulus packages, because you were getting frustrated, so you can go out there and, 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 and party and bullshit, you know, you know, and, and, and so-called spread this virus, man, so they can, you know, come down with even more draconian legislations, you know, you see, and you people are just feeding right into it, man. Authorities trying to avoid a repeat of what happened last night. Spring breakers ignoring orders to leave. Miami Beach police using pepper balls and brute force to break up the party. I think the curfew is ridiculous. Like, we just want to come out here and party. This is not a typical spring break. Of course, who do they show? I ain't even know. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they want to do, party and bullshit. They want to party and bullshit. Let me get a scripture. Um, man, you can't make this stuff up. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. 
It says, rise up ye women that are at ease. Okay, we know this is talking about at you actual women. Okay, but hey, you can prophetically, we can use this also for you men. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai likens us unto a comely a woman. Okay, we're married unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you men are also, men are at ease also. You two-thirds, man. You're being oppressed. You're, you, you, you know, you're catching hell. But reality ain't setting in, man. You know? You know? You know? So, hey, it, this is really talking about you women, but prophetically you can use it for you men because you're at ease also. You were down there at ease partying, following behind the woman. Erring. Okay, it's going to lead to your destruction, your demise. Okay? You know? Because you want to go on vacation and travel with your family and, and, and chase behind these women, it's going to cause you to go get vaccinated. And ultimately, you're going to want to... Stay, keep, keep up with the Joneses and stay in the society. So you're going to take the, the, the mark uh, uh, eventually when it's made mandatory. Right behind the silly women. Okay, the RFID microchip, the Karagma, Revelation 13 and 16. You're going to follow these women right into them concentration camps, the FEMA camps. You're going to follow them right to your destruction as you are now. Okay? As you've done in the past. Okay? But anyway, right now we're getting on the women, you actual, the actual female women, Eve. And that's who they showed, Eve. She just want to party. They just want to party and bullshit, okay? They're not considering they're not their latter end. They don't think the fun and fun land is going to come to an end, man. They're gonna, they, think that, they don't think the gifts are going to run out, you know? Hey, you, you in for a rude awakening, man. Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Yeah, you're careless now because, because this society caters to you. Okay? You know? You know? Hey, but hey, reality is going to set in real quick. You know? The gifts are going to run out. You know? As it's going to go into. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Okay? Those gifts, because the gift destroyeth the heart. Your gifts, your benefits. That contract you made with Esau, Edom, with the serpent in the garden. Your contract with death, just as the, you know, it's going to be disannulled. Disannulled, man. He's going to renege on that contract. You know? It says, tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Okay? It says, they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Yeah, you're going to be looking for the benefits, man. You're going to be crying. Okay? Because it's going to run out, man. Or it's going to come with stipulations, harsh stipulations. Okay? You know? They may still give you your benefits, you know? You know? But it's going to come with that karagma, that mark. That RFID microchip, you can see they're doing it now, slowly but surely, gradualism. You know, the, the green pass, you know, now you got to have the, it hey, started with the NBA, right? They had the little tracking bracelets, the social distancing bracelets in the NBA when they were in the bubble. Now, gradually, what? Now you need the, 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 uh, the, the you know, that thing passport, you know? And now in Israel with the tracking bracelets, right? What's the next step? What you think it is, man? Okay. Hey, well, I got another scripture. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, okay, you know, and he's coming quickly, you know, 2021, the year of hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim HaMashiach, okay, they're coming, they're on their way, man, quickly. I don't want to rot this out, Lord's will. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, and that's what they're saying in down there in Miami. They partying it up, man. Peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay? You know? Hey, that, that's the point. You know, I'm going to come I'm close out with Jeremiah. All right? Close out with Jeremiah. Let's go back to the video. You know? Can't make this stuff up. Authorities trying to avoid a repeat of what happened last night. Spring breakers ignoring orders to leave. Miami Beach police using pepper balls and brute force to break up the party. I think the curfew is ridiculous. Like, we just want to come out here and party.
This is not a typical spring break crowd. Today, Miami Beach City Commissioners held an emergency meeting. It looked like a rock concert. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber. People started to rage through the streets, you know, running in, in, uh, for their lives. You can't have that in a city. That can't be a nightly event. The Miami Beach curfew runs from 8 p.m. until... So now you're giving him more reason to come down with even more draconian legislation, which we know he wants to do anyway. You see? You see? You, this is, you can see a prime example why the devil is going to come down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. But you're playing into his algorithm. Problem, reaction, solution, man. Order out of chaos. You know, he's letting you, he's giving you the rope to hang yourself, man. You know, a gift destroys the heart. You know, why you think they're lifting these curfews, man, and li it's like lifting these restrictions in Texas and so on and so forth? Because this is going to happen. They're hypocrites, you see? You, you see? Till 6 a.m. Today, with the sun up, the beach was back open, crowds enjoying the sand and surf. But some who came for the famed, often hedonistic South Beach nightlife say the curfew has ruined the party. They said heathenistic. Heathens. They're at... <laughs> wow, 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 Salakia. And the Miami Beach curfew runs from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. Today, with the sun up, the beach was back open, crowds enjoying the sand and surf. But some who came for the famed, often hedonistic South Beach nightlife say the curfew has ruined the party. I go back to my plane tomorrow. And you see, you see Esau, <laughs> he ain't playing no games, man. The, but oh man, I ain't even playing no more of this man. You you can't make this stuff up, man. You you see he's out there in, in full fatigue on top of the damn Humvee or whatever the hell that is with with with, with the AR out, man. But you but you partying and bullshitting, careless, careless, man. And then the silly the silly I'm gonna call it straight niggers, man. Dumbass niggers following behind the the, the stupid woman. Okay, you know, you know. Anyway, I'm going to close out with Jeremiah, man. Straight to the point, the queen of heaven worship is what it goes back to, man. And it's no new thing under the sun. They did it then, and they're doing it now. And it's going to lead to your demise. Okay, the black woman is not God, man. She's your damn enemy. <laughs> okay, you don't believe me, read Micah. Okay, he said, Micah said, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned. You know, then she, that enemy, uh, um, I forget how it goes. Slock, let me pull that. Um, so let me pull that real quick. This is uh, Micah 7 and 9. Straight to the point. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh, right? And that's what we do. We keep enduring, you know, the patience and the faith of the saints. I mean, to suffer, man. We're suffering for the things we've done in our previous lives and the things we are still, you know, we're doing in this life, man. Because none of us are perfect, you know. We're not going to be perfect until we get changed in them bodies, man. You know, so, hey, whatever, whatever falls upon us, it's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we're going to take it, man, with cheerfully. You know, that's what the scripture said, whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, man. You know, you know, we're supposed to be patient where we, when we're in this lowest state, okay? So we, we take it, we take all the shit, the, the disrespect from these women and, the, you know, being looked at as the filth of the earth, we'll, we'll take it, man. That's the indignation of the Lord, because we, 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 you know... We, we we disappointed the Lord, we, you know, you know we deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve death. We deserve worse, worse, right? So hey, we in that same spirit as Micah. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him, and we all have. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, and hey, he's gonna do that, man. That's what he said in Zephaniah. Wait till I rise up to the prey. That's what we're waiting on. The patience and the faith of the saints, man. He's gonna vindicate vindicate us. All we got to do is hold on and endure, keep pushing, keep fighting. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. This is the main point. Then she, who is she? The woman, Eve. She's your adversary, man. Going way back to the garden. Okay. You know, then she that is my enemy shall see it. Right? Because what, they look down upon us, you know, we ain't shit, you know, especially a man of the Lord, you know. They look at the average man as not being shit, so how much more the men of the Lord, you know. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her 
which said unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her, now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Yeah, they're going to be ran through, man. They're going to be ran They're going to be in a bad case, man. That's why seven women is going to take hold of one man in them days, man, to take away their shame and their reproach. Okay? You're going to need a righteous man in them days, man. That, that we just patiently waiting, you know? Patiently waiting. So let's go back to that Jeremiah. I'm going to close out here, man. Like I said, um, you get the idea. You know, they turning up down there in Miami, man, living it up. You know, and a lot of that is because they got that gift, them stimulus packages, man. A lot of them women probably single mothers, you know, left the children home and shit, you know, to go to go whoring in that heathenistic, as it said, environment down there in South Beach, man. You know, ain't nothing but adultery and folly going on down there, man. You know, Jeremiah 44 and 1, the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt which dwell at Migdal and Tahapanes, Tah Tahapanes, it's lucky if I butcher that, and Naph, and in the countries of Pathros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahabashim Yahushai, the power of Yasharal of Israel, ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense to serve other gods. Okay, and that's a baby G, because there are no other gods. There's only one God, and that's the God of Israel, the power of Israel, Yahweh. And he passed the reins on to his son, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, his name is Yahweh, and he's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, a so-called Negro. And that's the only powers, Yahweh, why Yahweh, man. Okay, and they're the power of Israel, Yasharala, no other nation. There are no other gods, okay? Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to pro which they have committed to provoke me to anger, and that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Alright? And Esau Edom made a, a, a series called American Gods. You can see all the gods, man. You know, you know, Seja Bourget. You know, so-called Jesus Christ, that white boy, that's a false god, that's an idol, you know, you know, technology, the woman, you know, these are all gods, man, money, you know, that's, these are things that people worship, you know, it says, how be it, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Yeah, there's no cloak for your sins because you've heard over and over, starting with the elder apostles to hurl on down, all the men out there sighing and crying, warning you to repent, you know, repent, you know, you heard this word, you know, it says, but they hearken not nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense unto other gods, all right? You heard us over and over. The black woman is not God. That's folly. That's ridiculous. That's simple. That's stupidity. But you, 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 you want to, you know, you, you want, you know, you're hard headed, you know. It says, wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth and kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as, as at this day. Therefore now thus saith the Lord Yahweh, the power, the Lord. Slaki. Therefore, now thus saith the Lord Jehovah, the power of hosts, Yahweh Shai, the power of Israel, Yasharala, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah, to leave you none to remain, and that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, right? And we know America, right, is Babylon the Great, right? But it's also what? Spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. Egypt represents bondage. We're going to go into Egypt again with ships. That's America. Babylon the Great. The land of the north, right? So it says, And that ye provoke me unto the wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, where whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye may cut yourselves off, and that ye may be that ye may that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Yeah, they look at you like you're nothing. You're filth, man. You're a proverb and a byword. Look at you. Look how you running in the streets of Miami like a damn wild beast. You know? 
following behind a woman. She just want to party and bullshit. And here go your simple ass right behind her in the middle of a global pandemic. You know? Have you forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of their wives? Remember Lot's wife and your own, and your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives? He said that twice. Have you forgotten the wicked Jeremiah 44 and 9? Have you forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of their wives and your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They are not humbled even unto this day. Yeah, the women are haughty, man, proud. Neither have they feared nor walked in my law. Yeah, they, they, they love eating them abominable foods. No matter how much we tell these damn women, you're not supposed to eat crab shrimp, la or, uh, crab, shrimp or lobster. They love it. They can't get enough of that seafood, oysters. They just love being wicked, man. And you can't tell them nothing. You know, but you simple ass niggas want to take them to Red Lobster. You want to trim your ways to seek love, man. You know, it said they are not humbled even unto this day. Neither have they feared nor walked in my law, nor, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh the power of Israel, Yasharallah, behold, I will set my face against you for evil and to cut off all and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there. Hey, woe to you that trust in Egypt, that trust in the oppressor. It says, and I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, to travel there, and they shall be all consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. It's going to lead to your destruction. You know, <laughs> that's why the Lord said, it's not, it is, this is not your rest, man. It's going to destroy you with a sore destruction. You can't trust in this place, man. It's, it's going <laughs> to lead to your demise. Only thing that's going to deliver you is your Ha'abashim Shai, man. This sound doctrine. Okay, it said they shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. You see them plagues, them plagues are going to get you one way or another. All right. And the ultimate plague is going to be that those missiles. Okay, the second death, the lake of fire, intercontinental ballistic missiles. It said they shall die from the least even to the greatest. That's what the Lord said. Slay utterly old, young, maids, little children. But what he said, come not near uh, any man that has the mark. That the wah, exempt from judgment, man. You know? It said, they shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even to the greatest. By the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an ex execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. It says, so that none of the remnant of Judah, which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah, to the which they have the, a desire to return, Slaki, Slaki, Jeremiah 44 and 14, so that none of the remnant of Judah, which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, yeah, none, none is going to escape the judgment of Yahweh Shai, that they should return into the land of Judah to to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there, for none shall return but such as shall escape. So, yeah, the only ones that are going to escape are going to be the elect, the ones that are predestined for salvation, the ones, the hopeful elect, the ones that are fighting, you know, putting on, you know, putting on as the elect now, you know, enduring till the end, occupying till the Lord comes, you know, repenting, you know, keeping the law to the best of their ability, turning back to their power. Keeping the high holy days to the best of their abilities. You understand? So it's a Jeremiah 44 and 15. This is you two-thirds. This is the main point though. Jeremiah 44 and 15. You two-thirds, you simple ass men, okay? You know, that follow behind the women. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods. You know your wife is celebrating these pagan holidays. You know she's still celebrating Christmas. But you're going to celebrate Christmas right along with her. You're going to celebrate Valentine's Day with her. You're going to celebrate Mother's Day with her. You know? You're going to celebrate all. You're going to follow this woman right to your grave. Right to your demise. Right to your destruction. Okay? Then all the men 
which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwell in the land of Egypt and Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, as it's the main point, as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord Yahweh, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing. We're going to party and bullshit. We're going to turn up in these streets. We don't give a damn. Okay, We're going to take that chip. We're going to take that Maxine. We don't care. <laughs> you see? Is it? But we will certainly do whatsoever thing. We're going we gonna to trust in Egypt. We're going to trust in the oppression and get thrusted through. We don't care. As <laughs> long as we get that box. <laughs> but we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our own mouth to burn incense. This is the main point. But Jeremiah 44, let me start up at uh, at uh, uh, 15 again. 40, Jeremiah 44 and 15. Then all the men, well, I'm going to close out here. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods and that all and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt and Pathros answered Jeremiah saying, as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord Jehovah, we will not hearken, we ain't going to listen, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven, to burn, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven, to worship the woman. And to pour out drink offerings unto her. Yeah, go buy her drinks at the bar. <laughs> Ladies night. You know, women get in free before 12, right? And you, 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 you like a dumbass just trying to buy her drinks all goddamn night so you can get in her drawers, man. So you can get the box. Trimming your ways to seek love, you know? Knowing she probably got a man at home. She's out there committing adultery, but you don't care, you know? You just lusting after her, you know? But we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven. And that me that means to worship, man, and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty victuals and we were well and saw no evil. So they thought they were blessed, man. <laughs> When they were, when they was, what they say, happy wife, happy life. When I was pleasing my wife, everything was going good, man. But all of a sudden, I ain't listening. I'm bucking up against her. My life has turned to shambles. <laughs> I'm in court, you know. I'm paying child support, you know. I can't see my kids. I can't get no box. I'm miserable, <laughs> you know. It says, verse 18, But since we left to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the, and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? You see, that's the point. No new thing under the sun. They did it back then and they're doing it now. You see, and, they, and that's, what that, that's what that is, man. This is, this is queen of heaven worshiping, man. Folly. Folly, it's going to lead to your demise, your destruction, you know, but hey, the scripture says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still, man. These people are filthy, so hey, let them be filthy, you know, that's their business, you know. Authorities trying to avoid a repeat of what happened last night. Spring breakers ignoring orders to leave. Miami Beach police using pepper balls and brute force to break up the party. I think the curfew is ridiculous. Like, we just want to come out here and party. This is not a typical spring break crowd. Today, Miami Beach City Commissioners held an emergency meeting. It looked like a rock concert. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber. People started to rage through the streets, you know, running in, in, uh, for their lives. You can't have that in a city. That can't be a nightly event. The Miami Beach curfew runs from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. Today, with the sun up, the beach was back open, crowds enjoying the sand and surf. But some who came for the famed, often hedonistic South Beach nightlife say the curfew has ruined the party. 
I go back to my plane tomorrow and go back home. Miami Beach police posted this photo of famed ocean drone. What did I say? They come down here to Florida to try and escape. To try and escape. They took their little stimulus package, you know, you know, and they, they bought their little plane tickets, paid for their little hotels, you know, to turn up. But guess what? Again, First Timothy 5 and 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. I don't want to rot this out. This was edifying. Like I always say, keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal.